So just look at that clip. Look at that no scope. Ah, snipers, snipers, snipers. But you know what? They're not the main part of this commentary today. The main part of this commentary is talking about what I want from Advanced Warfare. And this gameplay behind you, behind well, behind me, I guess, is a gameplay where I went into a lobby with a bunch of my friends, and we decided we were going to play some Demolition on Black Ops 2. And, well, if you just watch the video behind you, you'll understand exactly why I think there needs to be some change with Call of Duty. And this is coming from a person who started playing Call of Duty in Modern Warfare 3. And I have no... I have problems with that game. I have problems with Black Ops 2. I have problems with Ghosts. But the biggest, the biggest problem that Call of Duty has is the spawn system. It always has been, and it's probably always going to be. And what I want the great people over at Sledgehammer Games to do is create a spawn system that is not fucking screwed up. It's not predictable. It's not the easiest thing to predict that you can spend your entire life playing demolition in a party of six, kill all the people, and then just sit in a spawn trap and just shoot them over and over and over every time that they spawn. Because, let's, let's face it, if you were in a lobby like that, Mr. Person at Sledgehammer Games, or Infinity Ward, or Treyarch, or Activision, say you were in a lobby like that, and every time that you spawned, you died to some kid with an LMG spraying at the spot that you're already gonna spawn in. How the fuck would you feel? Now, I'll give you a second just to, you know, let that sink in your head, but how would you feel? How would you feel every time that you spawned, you just immediately died? No chance to even attempt to fix anything. No chance to, you know, do anything about it. You just spawn, die. Spawn, die. Spawn, die. And that's my problem. That is the biggest problem going into Call of Duty, is the fact that the spawns are royally fucked up. And it's not acceptable. This game has been going, Call of Duty has been going on for years, and you guys haven't created a good spawn system yet? You, you gotta be fucking with me, right? There's no way. Like, even in Ghosts, the spawns were absolute shit, and those maps were too fucking big for that goddamn game. Especially on a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. Those, the, like what? Those maps don't make any fucking sense. How am I spawning next to somebody? Because of the stupid revenge spawn system? Eh, you know what? It's a good idea on paper. But when you play the game, as much as some people do in the Call of Duty community, they find the flaws. And of course they're going to find the flaws. Because there's got to be a system that's in place and people are going to figure it out. And I get that. But I shouldn't, even if it is two years after that game came out, I shouldn't go into a lobby and be expected to rage quit a lobby because some kid figured out the spawn system with their friends and they're just going to completely demolish everything. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't be acceptable. It shouldn't be done. It, there's no reason that I should go into a game mode on any Call of Duty and be stuck in a spawn trap. Literal spawn trap. Like... It's one thing that when the spawns are like, oh, everybody's in a certain spot, and if anybody crosses over, then they just, you know, they spawn on the other side of the map or something. Like, okay, that happens for, like, Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed and even Domination to a degree. Um, and I get why Demolition doesn't do that, and I get why you guys probably took Demolition out of the fucking game, because it's kind of broken, and I, I get it. I get it. But the problem is, is that it's still a problem. It's still a thing. And it shouldn't matter what game mode I'm playing, there should be fair spawns for everybody. Now, I'm not saying that they're... <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm not good at the game, because I am. I'm relatively decent. I'm not gonna say I'm the best. I'm not gonna say I'm a pro player or anything like that. But, I mean, I can hold my own when I'm having a good day. Um, but there's there's absolutely no reason that I should spawn basically staring at somebody's gun. There's, there's no reason for it. 
no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the reason is. I mean, unless the maps were so small and there were 30, 40 people on the map, then yeah, I would totally expect to spawn into somebody's gun. But it, this, no. Call of Duty is supposed to be accessible for everybody, or at least that's what you guys have been trying to fucking do with your bullshit, oh, let's have Final Stand, and oh, let's have noob tubes that you literally call noob tubes, or, you know, things like that. Because, you know what, if people that don't play the game casually never played, then nobody would be able to get good fucking games. Because, guess what? Guess what? I'm, I don't want to burst the bubbles of everybody on uh, YouTube here, and I, I certainly hope I'm not. Um, but, you know, most people that post up gameplays, they're against really shitty people. I'll let that sink in. Yeah, most of the time they're against really shitty people. People. Oh, you know what I have? I have a not good people, not, not people that know how to play the game. That's why most commentators will get gameplay from Team Deathmatch, the newbiest fucking mode in the game. Oh, I literally don't. I don't like playing Team Deathmatch because it's too easy. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, there are those lobbies in Team Deathmatch where you run into an entire party of six that know what they're doing and they they want to do the exact same thing as you, which is pub stomp. The thing is, is that Team Deathmatch is too easy. Team Deathmatch is too easy. All it is is a bunch of noobs that are don't know how to scroll down the fucking game type list, so they play Team Deathmatch all the time because they're like, oh, I don't know what Domination is, so I'm not going to play that. Which, oh, I, I hope to God that that's not actually the reason, but that's what I feel like it is. That's why Team Deathmatch always has you know, 40,000 people, while every other mode has like a 1,000 to 10,000 people in it. Like, that's... <sighs> Team Deathmatch is the most, play most played game mode, and then Domination is up there too. But the problem is, is that every time I get into a Domination lobby, it's always against a team of six tryhards that are just trying their heart out and destroying everything, because that's what they do. <sighs> but as for other things that I want in Advanced Warfare, since I went way off topic, is... I just, you know what, I want good streaks. I mean, ghosts didn't have good streaks, I know that everybody's been saying that, and every, everybody's gonna gonna say that, and, you know, I, I just want good streaks. I, I like the support package from Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts, I, I think that that's great. I also think that it's great that, you know, in Modern Warfare 3 and Ghosts, you could actually set up kill streaks based on your class, not based on just a general kill streak loadout, because there are certain classes in Black Ops 2 that I would use, and they're not gonna get me a VSAT dogs in a swarm. But, you know, if I could have, you know, a UAV and a care package and stuff on that specific class, and then the other classes have whatever they want, that'd be great. And Treyarch, when you make your next game, please do that. Please have it set up for every single individual class. I'm pretty sure Sledgehammer Games is doing that, but I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into all the gameplay and everything about it, so I mean, I could be wrong. But I really hope that that's a thing, because I like that method of class setup better. Oh yeah, it is. No, because it's part of the Pick 13 system. That's right, that's right. So, never mind. But, yeah, I still want better streaks. I mean, better streaks are still necessary. Um, and, I, you know what? I don't really have anything else. I just want better streaks and better spawns. Um, I mean, maybe for the community to not be little fucking bitches that can't move out of a fucking corner. But, I mean, that's... Uh, that's all Ghosts was. I mean, Ghosts was, to me, it's a pretty solid game, but people wouldn't move out of the fucking corners so they didn't know how to do anything else. Um, so yeah, that that's really about it. I just want a good community of people that play the game and actually move out of their fucking, you know, little safe passage corner. And good spawns and better kill streaks. Um, everything else that I've seen from Sledgehammer Games, according to what I've seen it like from all the early release preview bullshit from all the big channels. I mean, you know, it, it looks good. It looks like a solid game. It looks like maybe kills a little too fast, but I mean, that's, you know, I'll, I'll deal with that and I'll feel I'll feel that out when uh, I'm done playing Smash Brothers and I buy the game. So, yeah, that's it. If you stuck around for this whole commentary, then uh, leave a like.
and leave a comment down below. Tell me what if you know what if you're excited for Advanced Warfare. If you're gonna buy it, if you're gonna play it, what console you're gonna play it on? Um, I'm gonna play it on the PlayStation 3, which is gonna be made by a different team altogether. So I don't even know what the fuck that's gonna look like, but I sure hope it'll look exactly the same as the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions. So yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, all right. Um, see you later. Bye.